What's up, everybody? <laughs> oh! Put that in it. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Ray here with Fish Head Videos. Today I'm with Dylan and Lucas. We're gonna make a super simple, inexpensive dinner. We're also gonna try out some of the new Fish Head Videos seasoning that we're working on for chicken and pork. It's not quite perfected yet, but we're gonna try it. We're getting close. We'll let you guys know when it's ready. So we just want to put this on the meat. Don't really need anything else. It's got salt and pepper and everything else in there. So just kind of coat both sides of the meat. And we're going to put it on the griddle. We have this cast iron griddle that goes across two of the burners on our stove and it works really well and disperses the heat we'll see how this turns out i got a good feeling about it time to put these pork chops on the griddle okay so my secret to cooking any bone in cut of meat is to put the bone towards the center of the pan or the skillet because i feel like the bone side always takes just a bit longer to cook but to go along with our delicious pork chops, we have these little potatoes that we've cut up. Mix them in with some onion and some of the secret fish head seasoning. We're gonna go ahead and bake these in the oven for a while. So we have the pork on there. We're gonna let it just sear on this griddle. Probably three or four minutes on each side, just till the meat is cooked through. We don't want it to be dried out. So the key is timing on this recipe. We've also got the potatoes that are already in there. We showed you that a minute ago. Those aren't as time sensitive as the meat is. That is some good looking pork right there. Oh yeah, those potatoes are looking amazing. They're gonna be so good. All right, so we'll flip these over. See if we got any griddle lines yet. Oh, yeah. Just starting. We'll just let these guys sizzle and do their thing for a few more minutes. I think I'm gonna rotate them and turn them one more time just to get a really nice griddle lines on them. So we'll just let the heat do its work right now. Would you rather eat this or a lobster? Lobster. One of the best things about this meal is it's not very expensive at all. The pork chops are inexpensive, potatoes are inexpensive. If you only need one onion, you can feed your whole family for like, 15 bucks. It's raw! Guys, comment below what recipes you want us to try because we're pretty much willing to try anything. We've got faith in our abilities and our cooking skills, so why not? We'll just try whatever it is and I bet we can make it taste good. And with our seasonings that we're developing, it keeps getting better and better. So if you want to see more recipes, more fun cooking videos, in the future, go ahead and subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications bell. That way you'll know every time we put a, a new video out about cooking or catching cooks or camping cooks. All fun stuff. Push down closer to over here. We're gonna do our little secret recipe right now for you. To make a pork chop the best it can possibly be, right towards the end of the grill, you just sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese, some finely shredded parm over them, and just let it melt on there. The parm mixed with the fish head seasoning, it just makes the world of difference. So much flavor. So we're about done with those. We're gonna give them about another minute to let that cheese start melting. Just a little something extra for the final touches here. And 
when you want to give that cheese just that extra little bit of help of becoming even more amazing than it already is. All right, those look done to me. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to try this. Time to take the potatoes out. Fantastic, I think they'll pair up perfectly. Okay, so now it's the moment we've been waiting for. We finally get to try this feast. I think Dylan's gonna love it. I got a piece. Dylan, you grab a piece. Soft, tender. Cheers. Oh, That's delicious. It's cooked to perfection. That's how it's done. So good. It should be good with Parmesan. Now we know the meat is great. We're going to try the potatoes. Also really good. I would say 100% success on this meal. And like I said, if you don't want to spend a bunch of money, this is a good way to get full. So guys, if you would go ahead and subscribe to our channel, hit the notifications bell so you can see the next video we make of something like this. Or if you wanna watch some deer, or if you wanna see us camping, or if you wanna see us out on the kayaks or the boat fishing, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.